I'm so done with this war. I wish Adolf Hitball would just kill himself so we can all go home. Captain Lee, I've got news from Berlin. Adolf Hitball killed himself. I also wish for a million bucks. Dang it. Wait, so is the war over now? Not quite. Nazis! Don't try anything funny, you Nazi scum. Hey, don't move your arm. I said don't move your arm! I am Major Gangle. And I need your help, American. What the fuck? Have you heard of Castle Ita? The old fortress in the Austrian Alps? That's what it used to be. But then, it became something else entirely. A hotel. And after that, a Nazi prison castle. Was that a thunderstrike? Never mind. Continue. Castle Ita became a prison for high-ranking prisoners. French Prime Ministers, French Generals, and a French, uh, tennis player. You think we're gonna help you protect your Nazi prison? You German scum. Not all Germans are Nazis. Me and my soldiers abandoned their cars, and we're trying to help out in any way we can. My point still stands. Why would we protect your Nazi prison castle? After Adolf Hitbar committed self-destruction, the remaining Nazis in the castle fled, leaving all the prisoners behind. The prisoners managed to arm themselves, but they have nowhere to go. To make matters worse, there's a division of Nazi SS soldiers heading straight for the castle to take it back and, you know, kill everyone. You want us to team up with you Against a bunch of Nazis in a World War II castle siege? Yep. This is so badass. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Listen up, soldiers. Adolf Hitball may be dead, but his spirit still lives on. Or something, because he, uh, I, I don't know. The point is, let's kick some Nazi ass. Sir, yes, sir. Are you sure we can trust the Germans? This could be an ambush. They seem trustworthy, but... Yeah, you're right. Expect the unexpected. Roger that, Captain. Resistance are going to try and foil the murderous plot. A smiling Jack Lee, an adventure lover, sensed the weight of the moment. He rallied his men and told them they're going on a rescue mission. And so began one of the most incredible episodes of the war. The journey to Castle Itter isn't an easy one. They meet up with Gangle's men. German soldiers who are either resistant or think their best bet is to side with the Americans. Having to fight through several SS blocks. Oh, Lee, he's just around the corner. 1945, the furious reigns at its end. Jenny at the gates, as the SS opened fire. There's no time to waste, the final battle's begun. After the downfall, the castle, the siege. Facing the Nazis, the weighted relief.
out of ammo. Grenard! We all have a captain. What now? The war just couldn't end without a bang, huh? It's not a sword, but it'll do. Let's do this! Hey, Captain Lee! I found Kramers! I freaking found him! <laughs> I'll be damned! Captain Lee, your heroism in this battle will be remembered in the history books. Thanks, Major Kramers, for defying your orders and coming to our rescue. Well, it was worth it. We showed those Germans what we Americans are made of, huh? <laughs> I think you're mistaken, Major. Not all Germans are Nazis. The Germans actually made this victory possible. <laughs> Won't argue with that, Captain. All right, boys. Let's get out of this uh, Nazi prison castle. Yeah, Scheisse!